Arctic's in here in the Channel 3 Early Warning Forecast Center. Happy Friday. We have reached the end of the week, and then we have also reached the most uh, potent round of, of weather so far this week uh, as we've been timing out several rounds of precipitation. This one uh, having the biggest impact uh, as we're also, uh, with this particular area of low pressure that's moving through, uh, bringing some very strong wind to the state this afternoon. But uh, since yesterday, through the overnight hours into early this morning in parts of northwest and northeast Connecticut, we've, especially in the higher elevations, have had a prolonged, a fairly prolonged period of of some freezing uh, precipitation uh, from freezing fog to freezing rain uh, so certainly still some slick spots out there here's a picture from Torrington showing a deck here from Sharon that she sent this in um, you know, a little bit of a glaze there and you can certainly see the buildup of ice on some of the tree limbs so uh, not to get lost in the shuffle we still have some concern for slick spots in the northwest hills but temperatures are on the way up finally uh, this morning and overnight again kind of hovering around 31 32 33 uh, in parts of northwest and northeast uh, Connecticut. So uh, currently we are tracking rain as opposed to anything else uh, moving across the state uh, from southwest to northeast. Uh, this cluster of rain uh, once featured thunderstorms that were severe producing damaging winds working through New Jersey and the New York City metro area. They have since weakened as they made their way into Fairfield County and are now lifting into central Connecticut. So I'm uh, not expecting any sort of severe weather but perhaps a, a brief downpour as this uh, uh, batch of rain makes its way through the state. So uh, here's here's a big story. Look at these temperatures. Um, we're still in the 30s, basically along the northwest of 84 in, in say, northern Litchfield County, throughout much of Hartford County with the Connecticut River Valley, northern Tolland County. But look at those 50 degree readings, Bridgeport, New Haven, Chester, Norwich, even Willimantic and Groton. So we, we've got uh, warmer air that's finally making its way into the state, but it's going to be short lived. 50 degree weather is only going to last a matter of hours because uh, by the evening commute temperatures are going to be heading back in the downward direction. So you can see along the shoreline, these are the most recent wind speeds that are sustained between 20 and 30 miles an hour along the shoreline. We've already seen some gusts up to around 35 inland. The wind isn't as strong for now, but that will be getting more intense uh, statewide as the afternoon progresses. So uh, the worst is yet to come wind-wise. Uh, visibility, certainly some improvement here, especially as the wind begins to kick in, but still around a quarter of a mile uh, in Waterbury. So there's our eye cam view from Torrington, showing the low clouds, the raindrops on the camera lens, uh, certainly damp statewide, checking out the scene live from stores over the Yukon campus. You can see uh, certainly a wet go of it on the New Haven green, and also as we check in on the tugboats, a lot of cloud cover and wet weather from New London. So the wind advisory um, is up statewide, where we have in southeastern Connecticut, though, a high wind warning. We expect gusts to be even higher. So 40 to 50 miles an hour for the wind advisory. 50 to 60 miles an hour, perhaps even higher than that for the southeastern shoreline here in Connecticut. Uh, so again, these are the most recent wind gusts between say 25 and 35 miles an hour along the shoreline. We do expect these gusts to get more intense as the afternoon progresses. So this is just the beginning. The wind is just now starting to uh, ramp up and get stronger. So it's all complements of this area of low pressure. Uh, it's taking a track right now through the lower Hudson Valley of New York. It's gonna be crossing, uh, say, the Litchfield Hills into the Berkshires. Uh, so given this track and the fact that the area of low pressure is, is strengthening, the low pressure is getting lower, um, that is going to create even a, a stronger wind through the rest of today. So uh, you can see here how um, we've got the, the, the flow out of the south bringing in the mild air briefly. Uh, and then on the back side of this, we've got colder air that eventually filters into the state. So that's why it's not, it's going to be fairly short lived, these, these warm temperatures. So here again is future cast at one o'clock, kind of mirroring what we currently have across the state. Uh, by two o'clock, uh, still 30s and 40s in the northwest hills, 50s, east of 91, southeast of 84. But as we head towards, say, 5 o'clock, we're going from the 50s through the 40s back into the 30s and even for some into the 20s. So uh, it gets progressively colder as the evening uh, makes its way forward to time. And here you can see on future casts where we do have scattered areas of rain this afternoon, um, as that colder air arrives and the precip tapers off, it could switch over to some snow in the northwest hills before entirely ending. And then uh, we're forecasting a clearing trend this evening and plenty of sunshine for our Saturday. So if you're heading out and about this evening, again, temperatures are going to be dropping, but that wind is going to play a role. 
too. So wind chill values will go from the 20s into the teens and then perhaps even into the single digits uh, before midnight as we head toward daybreak tomorrow. In fact, we'll stop the clock at 6 a.m. Saturday morning. Wind chill values northwest, northeast Connecticut, perhaps in the single digits, teens elsewhere inland and along the shoreline. And as we move forward tomorrow um, by noon and points thereafter, wind chill values still in the teens and 20s. The wind begins to relax a bit. Uh, later in the day tomorrow. So on our seven day forecast highs for our Saturday, the extra air temperature may not make it above freezing. Uh, at least we'll get some bright sunshine for tomorrow. And then on Sunday, we could see more clouds and sun, maybe a couple of flurries, highs um, in the low and mid thirties inland, mid to upper thirties along the shoreline. And next week we trend briefly milder back into the forties for a couple of days. Uh, Monday to Tuesday, there's a chance for some rain and snow showers. All depend upon the track of an area of low pressure. We may have some light snow Wednesday morning, then another chance with temperatures trending cold by Thursday of next week. So uh, the big headline for this afternoon will be the ongoing chance for some rain, but uh, kind of diminishing in coverage. Uh, the, the, the biggest headline will be the wind as it's going to get much stronger statewide. Uh, and for southeastern Connecticut, could gust to over 50 to 60 miles an hour. I'll just reviewing some of the comments. No idea what's happening 91 North in New Haven. I've been focused on the weather and we had so much breaking news during the noon show. It was uh, organized chaos. All right, uh, Bruce will have the latest on Eyewitness News today at 4.30. Um, so that is that. Have a great weekend. Um, Scott is back Monday of next week. We're all back to our normal schedule next week. So take care, stay warm, stay safe. Have a great weekend, and that's it. Bye.